This is Six Minute English from BBCLearningEnglish.com. Hello, I'm Rob. Welcome to Six Minute English. I'm joined today by Finn. Hello, Finn. Hello, Rob. In this program, we're talking about exploration. That's a journey to a place to learn something new about it. It's a sort of educational trip. Yes, you may have heard about famous explorers, the people who made these journeys and learned new and amazing things, like Captain Cook or Christopher Columbus. Yes, Columbus was the Italian explorer who explored the Americas over 500 years ago. There are many other people who travelled around the world, seeking out or looking for new land, people, plants, and animals. But now, in the 21st century, do you think there's any more of the world left to discover? Ah,、uh, well, that's a question we'll be exploring today, and we'll also discover some exploration-related vocabulary. But first, Rob, I'm sure you have a question for me. Of course, yes. My question is about a modern-day explorer from the UK.、Mm. He's called Ed Stafford. In 2011, he became the first person to do what? Was it a circumnavigate or go all the way around the world in a canoe? B. Ski down Mount Everest or C. Walk the length of the Amazon River? I'm going to say A. The first person to go around the world in a canoe. Okay, well, we'll find out if you're right or wrong later on. So let's talk more about exploration. There are many reasons why people have wanted to explore. Yes, sometimes it was to find new natural resources, things like oil, rubber, or gold. Sometimes people wanted to find new land to occupy and build on. And sometimes people have just been inquisitive or interested in finding out what somewhere is like. Sounds a bit like you, Rob. <laughs> well, that's true. I do enjoy travel and adventure.、Uh -huh. And although I've explored places that are new to me, I haven't yet found an undiscovered river or island. Well, I hope you do. And、uh, <laughs> with satellite technology and modern transport. Maybe every corner of planet Earth has already been discovered, and there's nothing left to find. I wonder.、Mm, well, that's not something that the travel journalist Christina Lamb would agree with.、Mm. She's seen a lot of the world, but says there's still more to be discovered. Let's hear from her now. What phrase does she use to describe somewhere that hasn't been found yet? There still are a few places in the world that are unexplored. I've travelled quite a lot in the Amazon, and there, there, there really are still places where the, the maps don't have anything on them, and it says uncharted territory, which I think is the most exciting thing you can see on a map. So there are still a few places to explore, places that are not on the map. Christina Lamb called them uncharted territory. Yes, uncharted means a place that is completely new and. Territory is another word for an area of land, so uncharted territory. Imagine discovering somewhere like that.、Mm, yeah, that would be amazing.、Mm. But sometimes people are already living in these places. These are the tribes or groups of people who've never had contact with the outside world. Well, even if every tribe. Every lost city, every piece of land had already been discovered. A travel writer called Colin Thurbrand claims we can still re-explore and discover new things. So, what things keep changing, which mean we should never stop exploring? What there's always a will for is for reinterpreting a culture, going back there for every generation. Not just because the cultures change, but the judgments and priorities of every generation of travellers change too. Okay, so he talks about culture. That's the way of life for a particular group of people. Cultures change, but also our views change too. He says our judgments and priorities change. That means we keep seeing things differently. So、uh, you mean we see things in a new way every time we go back and look at them? In that case, maybe we will never stop exploring our planet. Yes, there's always something new to discover in the world, and even beyond it, people are already venturing into space, the universe. Where next? Yeah, absolutely, but I think I still need to explore my own city first. <laughs> there's a lot more to discover in London. 
before I head off to Mars. Mm. Maybe you just haven't got any wanderlust. That's the desire to travel.、Uh-huh. Unlike explorer Ed Stafford. Now earlier I asked you what he became the first person to do in 2011. I said A. Go round the world in a canoe.、He、I guess、didn't. I'm wrong. You're wrong. <laughs>、oh, no. <laughs> nice try. He was actually the first person to walk the length of the Amazon River. Your challenge now, Finn, is to remind us of some of the vocabulary that we've explored today. In a canoe, yes, of course. Well, we had exploration, explorers, seeking out, circumnavigate, natural resources, inquisitive, uncharted territory, tribes, culture. Venturing, and wanderlust. Well, that brings us to the end of today's six-minute English. We hope you've enjoyed today's program. Please join us again soon. Bye. Bye. That was six-minute English from BBC Learning English dot com.